Hi, Mac. Welcome in. It's almost like I've seen you already today, twice. I've been to every channel. Wait, you're right. Yeah, I've gone on e live on every channel today. Guys, alt, alt stream. You guys will never figure it out. Also, I did watch back the 30 frames per second Mario Kart test stream I did, and it looked a lot better than a 60 FPS, so... I just have to remind myself, anytime I stream Mario Kart or any faster-paced visual game, I have to do 30 FPS. Because the resolution change is very minimal. So... Test successful, I just... I gotta go back to shitty little 30 FPS, like the other little affiliate streamers. have been doing pretty good. But I'm also kind of sussed out though is that I get a good handful of views from Facebook Reels. Because when you upload Reels to IG you can choose to upload or for them to put them in the Facebook algo too and I get a lot of views from Facebook and I'm very scared that like a family member has seen it. And what if they see me talking shit? Peace I to guys. Eh, it should be fine. It's so weird to hear a video game song that has vocals in it. It's not that I hate it, it's just off-putting. get to a million dollars in donations I'll turn face cam on right now. Wait, actually, I just realized I don't have face cam on this channel. That would go crazy. I never had the opportunity to play a Sonic game because my sister had no interest. I don't know if I'd like him. <laughs> As a child or adult. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh my god, face reveal, everybody. <laughs> oh shit, I can't hear. Um, good afternoon, good evening. Hope everybody's doing well today. So this, this is a bonus. Sub go stream on the main channel exclamation main in chat um you guys unlock a bonus stream wait i need to check my title okay i because i was gonna put my main at in the title but it doesn't really fit okay so we're doing calligraphy we did calligraphy on monday we're gonna do it again I did a really good run on Monday. I got like eight pages done. Let's get a million. I'll stream for about two-ish hours, depending. Um, 
I was honestly really scared to stream on the main channel today because um, Monday's art stream didn't have a lot of chatters. And I averaged like two viewers and I was like, dude, I fell off. <laughs> but I know the art channel isn't for but it didn't like bother me. I was just like, this is what it's like to be a no viewer Andy, to have no chatters. And it's weird. It's been a long ass time since I've had no chatters. And it's, it's, it feels lonely. <laughs> Cause with the, with the, um, I should, with the calligraphy or with the dictionary, like, I can read the word, read the definition, make a little joke. But playing a game by yourself is awkward as frick. So, I got humbled. <laughs> So thank you to everybody who watches and chats, honestly. I know I say it at the end of every stream anyway, but it's fun hanging out with everybody. Okay. Um, my dinner today is egg bites. They have like these pre-made mini pie crusts at Walmart, so I tried it. And I made little like quiches. They have spinach and cheese. Because I, I just wanted to try out the pie crusts. And they're really good. So this is... This is my, like, light dinner prep. Because I'm trying to, like, cut back how many calories I eat. So, like, I'm having, like, a brunch. Like a... No, I have breakfast, lunch, and then this is, like, my dinner. It's a bit lighter. And then a snack if I'm still, like, a bit hungry after. I thought you didn't like veggies. I like veggies if they're cooked. There's a big difference. Because, like, fresh veggies, I think they're too crispy and crunchy. But baked or cooked... They're soft, they're a bit chewier, easier to digest. And this is spinach, I don't mind spinach. I just can't eat like fistfuls. You know, when I go to Subway, I don't tell them to load up on the spinach. But yeah, this is my dinner today. Because it's currently about 3.45. And these are really good. Because I used, the recipe said six eggs for a dozen. So each bite is about half an egg and then whatever filling. Oh, and then you also thin out the egg with cream. But they're really good. Like the egg bites you can get from Starbucks? Scam. They're way too expensive. Eggs is literally one of the cheapest things you can buy. Okay, let's get started. <laughs> Oops. Okay, I didn't leak anything. <laughs> this is my this is my burner phone, so I literally get no DMs or anything on this phone. It doesn't even have a SIM card. So I, I literally would never leak shit on this one. But I forgot. Because with the overhead POV cam, it shows what I see essentially, so I gotta be careful. Oops, oh my goodness. Okay, so today, we are continuing with our dictionary run. I also realized when I was setting up this camera, my ring light was at like 1% brightness. So that's why my camera's been looking really dark lately. I'm a pro. So I think on Monday we finished off on like page 13? Yeah, aged. Yeah, so we're right here. Also, I'm using any random color I have. So this is um, the spring palette with a lovely spring green light pink and a mellow yellow. Let's get to work. Oh, this is a fun word to start off on. <laughs> oh, no. 
<laughs> no. Ageism. Oh, I didn't doubt the eye. Ageism. Discrimination against a person or a particular age, especially the elderly. I'm not ageist. I love... No, we love old people. Twitch staff, we love old people. <laughs> Mock a W. <laughs> I don't know how this yellow is gonna look. Oh, it actually shows up pretty well in camera. Okay. It's very light in real life. It looks neon almost. The only color correction I use on my camera is the one that's on my DSLR. It's the portrait mode color mode, so it makes everything slightly more saturated. Ageless. Not growing old or showing the effects of age. You know what the glory of never wearing makeup is? Nobody's gonna tell me I look like ass when I don't wear it. You're just gonna see me as normal. The only bad thing was when I was working at the daycare, all the kids thought I was fucking 30. Because I didn't wear makeup when I was like 16, 17. They'd be like, are you 40? Oh, ew, you saw my- whoa. <laughs> Wait, six foot POV. Whoa, this looks... Dude, look at my nose. <laughs> Whoa, that's weird. <laughs> Guy's face reveal. Wait, forehead reveal. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Get back to work. No more time off task. I work for Amazon. I know, I'm like seeing that... Wait, can I just get my nose? <laughs> okay, I gotta stop. I gotta stop. I got back to work. Agency. The office or function of an agent. Okay, this color palette ain't too bad. Agenda. A list of things to be done. For the far left agenda. We hate Pride Month. I'm kidding. Uh, do I have LGBTQ? Yes, I, I do have LGBTQ tag. Thank God only. Holy shit. That was close. Oh, I have educational tag. Why do I have educational tag? Guys, do you learn something on this channel? Type 1. And write an essay about what you learned. I expect them on my desk tomorrow by 9 a.m. A gender. Of or relating to... A person or being whose gender identity is genderless or neutral. Any MBs in chat? I'm learning the dictionary. <laughs> I mean, how would you even write an essay about the dictionary? Agent. One that acts.
Agent Orange. A herbicide widely used in the Vietnam War that is composed of these chemicals and contains a toxic contaminant. We hate American war crimes. And just because we don't talk about them doesn't mean they didn't happen. Agent Provocateur. A person hired to infiltrate a group and incite its members to illegal action. So... Sting operations in the FBI? CIA? You having dinner right now? What you eating? Don't say my mom. Or your mom. This next word is very important. Age of consent. The age at which one is legally competent to give consent for marriage or intercourse. Guys, I don't understand how some states are pushing for lower than 18 age of consent. Or like being able to marry a literal teenager is psychotic. If you are pushing for policies that align with that heinous act? Maybe you need to do some self-evaluating. UK is 16? I know, it's like... And the thing you'll hear with people who argue for a lower consent age, they're like, what about the people who are like a few years older? Like a 16 and a 19 year old? That's fine. Because in that case, they could be going to the same school. That's fine. But... Otherwise... Just don't, don't fuck kids, and don't try to fuck kids. Hey, right, back to work. Age of consent is very important. If you're 19, you need to be in college. Well, there's some... There's some kids who are, like, held back. Like, I think they stopped doing it. But, like, a few years ago, there was there was literally, like, a 21-year-old who was a super, super senior. I mean, granted, he wasn't trying to, like, get with the freshman. He was not that dumb. Yeah, I agree. I haven't seen any at my school... I didn't see any super seniors who were like trying to smash. So I think they were all mine were just like really fucking dumb. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have a little bit of my quiche. Dude, this looks beautiful though. I might like make the pie crust from scratch next time, that way it's less caloric. Cause I think each one of these crusts is like a hundred calories.
Like, I might just make a bunch of pie dough and then freeze it. Yeah, we had a similar thing in my district, but in the past few years, um, they decided they wouldn't, like you had to progress in terms of grade levels with your age. They didn't allow older people who were disabled to stay in high school. What they did instead is they now have more programs for Disabled people who are adults, who still need help um, adjusting to adult life if they're physically capable. But they only made that change like right before or right after I graduated. So like six years ago. Dude, I'm old. I need back to work. But probably policies vary state by state. I don't know if that's better or not. Well, the students who did need a bit more help in terms of like learning social norms or how to work in a classroom or work environment, because that's what school is for. It's meant to prep you for work. They would have more resources that just weren't at school. They would be at like community centers and centers designed for helping people who are disabled get, get, to get work. <laughs> Adjuratum. Any of a genus of tropical American plants that are related to the daisies and have small shower heads of USA blue or white flowers. That's America, baby. Spots of dark pigmentation on the skin occurring, especially among older people. I've seen memes about people like getting freckles on their fingers, and they're like, Oh, if you have a freckle on your finger, you're gay. Where is mine? Right here. You can kind of see it. This one never used to be here. They never used to be here. <laughs> but like, I have a lot more like. This one right here. I know. I remember. I always had this one, but the other ones developed as I grew older. I also have one on my face. It's not a mole because it's not raised. It's just my mom calls them pretty spots. How do you think of what to cook? I don't. I just look up random ass. What I do is I I Google top recipes of spring or fall and then I get like cooking website articles that have like 50 different recipes and then I pick like three. So I just look at the like best of compilation recipe articles. You have a mole in, you have a mole in your nose? Okay I think the moles that are like flesh tone and like this big, I don't like them. One of my friends in high school he had moles or warts, warts all around his fingers. Ugh. If I, ooh, ew. I would not smash. <laughs> he had like warts all over his fingers. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna mute.
Coast is clear. <laughs> yeah, the roomies saw that they got the gift and sub today. They said thank you. They were gonna type in chat, but they didn't want to. They were scared. Agius, another word for Haggai. I assume like a religious figure. They're so cute. I'll tell them you said that. do like a straight T instead of doing a curve I like where it crosses on the one line for the top where it's straight because the other one's curved I like the flat look it's more clean agglomerate to heap up or join to gather into a mess the <laughs> food tastes so good I agree if I can eat food and never get fat dude that is the dream figure out how to boost my metabolism. Wait, is the timer not working? Uh, stream elements is still kind of iffy. Wait, let's see. Okay, that's working. Wait, I want to double check that the timer's- because remember where it's like, yes, the title is real, it's not clickbait. I missed that again. Let me double check. Let's see. Timers. Oh yeah, it, it should be there. Here, I, I reset it. Hopefully the timer shows up, because I missed that. It's my favorite bit. Yeah, some of the timers are working. Ah, don't matter. We love stream elements. to adhere but oh it's the same thing it's just different words synonyms guys we're 30 minutes in the stream so if you're new here follow the channel um you get to type in chat wow <laughs> can we get our follower goal today Agrandinize. 
British vari variation of aggrandize. The American one has a Z because we're cool. Why do they include the British spellings? This is the American dictionary. We don't need no oi bros here. I'm locking here. We don't need no. We don't need those red totes. We don't want no more tea in our arbor. Wait, we dumped the tea. <laughs> Oops. I'm walking here. I say that constantly. Is that gonna be like one of your stream co quotes, Mac? Like instead of saying holy, you're like, I'm walking in. <laughs> My favorite. Grandize. To make great or greater. We can make the chat room aggrandized if everybody puts their favorite emote. More severe, intensify, or to irritate. I'm gonna say stereotypical New York, New York, New York things. Um, give me a slice. I'm walking here. I, I can't think of anything else. Okay, I know that's funny, but let's not do those types of memes and shit. Please. about the bite people oh the old back in the car for you I'll never forget it I mean what are you gonna do you can't really drive through New York all you gotta do is walk a bike and if you, if you don't have a car you got a bike Do you guys have like adequate bike bike lanes? Because the only place that we have bike lanes that I've noticed here is in the residential areas, which is stupid. Aggregate formed by the gathering of units into one mass. A group, body, or mass composed of many distinct parts. Hi, Crystal. Can we get some yo's? Hi, Crystal. Welcome in. You're back. You were so wholesome earlier, Crystal. It was weird, but it was nice. You know, breath of fresh air.
It's like the opposite. Because most chatters, they'll go from wholesome to degen, but Crystal was the opposite. <laughs> Wait, I just remembered. Crystal was banned in this channel. <laughs> oh wait, yeah, I ban I deleted the ban. It's not. It's not on your track record anymore. Damn, you're clear. You don't talk about that? Yeah, it literally has not happened. And like, when I clicked on your user profile, it's gone. Because in your mod view, as the streamer, you can approve or disapprove mod actions. So like, timing out or banning somebody. So I guess I can literally clear it from your history. Damn, you're cleared. You're no, you're no longer a criminal. I don't have the energy to be silly. That's okay. You know, we're, we're chilling today. We chill. Aggression. An unprovoked attack. <laughs> I don't like being aggressive. Be aggressive. Be, be aggressive. Is not me. I would never be violent. Mm-mm. Ooh, that E is horrible. Oh, no. Aggressive. Tending toward or exhibiting aggression. I never have had anger issues. I'm just sad. Cause grief or injury. Wait, Agro is two G's? What? No. I thought it was always one G. That can't be right. Aggro. Aggressive or aggressively daring in style and manner. A lot of people come up as aggro when they're just in reality really blunt. Kart music a little bit, but it's Sonic. That's an A, don't worry, that's an A. Aghast. Struck with amazement or horror. Agile. To be able to move quickly and easily. To move with irregular rapid motion or to stir up or excite.
Okay, I skipped the positions of these words, but I don't think it matters, right? It's fine. It's it. No need to get agitated over the words. Agita. Southern dialect. A feeling of agitation or anxiety. I thought we southern folks had no feelings. Now, did anybody watch the PlayStation thing? I don't have a PlayStation, so I wasn't like hyped for any releases. I'll probably watch like a recap later. Agiprop. Russian. Political propaganda promulgated especially through the arts. <gasps> the 2020 election? How far are we in this journey? Damn, we're almost halfway through this book. Look, I need to get more. In a few weeks. He's no, I'm not doing all this today. Oh yeah, you don't have a PlayStation, do you, Mac? My sister does, but she doesn't really use it as much anymore. She only uses it to play Yakuza and then watch streaming stuff. Gleam. Gleaming. We hate elections, America. So much of the American population does not vote and it's very disappointing. Like, all these motherfuckers bitch about, ooh, the government's not doing anything. But it's like, bitch, vote. I know voting has minimal ap impact at the national level. But if you vote in local elections, your, your input, your vote means so much more. And you're going to see more of its impact on your actual day-to-day. -day. Good job. Everybody vote if you're of age. Make sure you register. If you don't vote and you're able to, you uh, a dumbass bitch. And you should vote. A glitter. Glittering. I totally vote. I mean, if you're not old enough yet, then oh well. I've only, like, dropped off my vote in a... What's it called? The mail bin one time. But that's because I voted same day. So if I would have mailed it through my mailbox, I wouldn't have gotten it processed in time. Oh wait, no. They, they postmark the stamps, but like, I only voted at like 3pm that day. So the mail mail would have come the next day, so it wouldn't have been on time. But if you can vote early, do mail-in voting. It, it works. It's great. And it, even if there is voter fraud that is happening, it's not happening on a massive scale. And if there are fraudulent votes, they obviously are not being counted. Like, the Republicans are fucking brain dead. And they take advantage of the fucking brain dead voter base they have. Yeah, in my hometown, they only had one center to where you could go in person to vote, and it was the library. And I remember, like, just passing by the library years ago when I was younger, and it was just, like, a, a bunch of, like, old people. <laughs> a glow. Glowing. Another page done.
agnostic. Of or relating to the belief that the existence of any ultimate reality, as in God, is unknown and probably unknowable. I'm agnostic. But I'm not gonna tell people to, ooh, you have to believe what I believe, because that's bad. In America, we have the right to religious freedom. Also, like, I would never say to anybody, like, God isn't real. I think that's inappropriate to say, too. I will never say that shit. Because I understand that faith is an important part of people's lives. So, it's not that I will always be receptive to it. It's just I will still try to be understanding and respectful if I can. Unless you're using, like, your religion to justify stupid and discriminatory shit. That's bad. Ago. Earlier than the present time. Or ten years. Okay, this word looks like a Shakespeare word. This looks like it'd be unlike my junior year vocabulary. Oh, no! I'm so... Oh, it's Agog. I put a P. God damn. I should add it back to my vocab list. Thank you for following. Thank you. Can we get some meals? I appreciate it. Why does this happen? It's because I think out loud and then I write the wrong thing. I have no idea why I wrote a P instead of a G when that stroke is totally different. If you do a G, you start from the right, but a P, you start from the left, down. Yes, guys, the title is real. It is not clickbait. <laughs> Yay, the command's back. Back to work. No more t I'm speedrunning. No more time off task. messed up on this page technically because Agita goes before Agitate, so. Not Ronald McDonald from Florida actually running? Is that real? Ain't no way. Little Rhonda! <laughs> I need to watch the song's coverage because that was basically his whole goddamn stream that I missed today. So I'm watching that later. It just got announced? Wait, he was stalling for that long? I thought he was supposed to announce it on Twitter at noon. Or were they- I think it was stalling, right? I mean, I don't think, um, Ron DeSantis can win against Trump in the primary. I think the only way that he can beat Trump is... Because Trump is, like, pro-vaccine. And a lot of the Republican Party isn't pro-vaccine. Like, anytime Trump tried to brag about, like, Ooh, my cabinet made the vaccine! The Republicans did not like it. It's because I think Donald Trump is, like, more liberal. I don't think he's a Republican. He only chose him because he knew he'd win. Okay, let's not make sh let's not say stuff like that, Mac. Doesn't matter for goofing. Do not make anything that is implying anything towards a figure. No, no way, no way, this is what? What? No, he is like liberal. He used to be a fucking dad. But Democrats are Republicans. They're just more optically left. Okay, okay. There's different definitions of liberal. When I say liberal, I mean center-right. Liberal 
has changed. Liberal does not mean progressive anymore. Because there's... Okay, okay. Let's do the spectrum. Let's make a little diagram, okay? So. If this is left and this is right, okay? Far left is progressives. The green parties, you know, Bernies and shit. Far right are gonna be the conspirators, the people like QAnon, okay? Centrists are usually undecided voters, but in reality, they're probably more right-leaning. They just say they're undecided because they don't want to look like a far-right Republican, because a lot of the general public, since both of the far-right minorities within the two parties, or let's put Dems and Republicans, since the, since the far people on both sides are the vocal minorities, a lot of the public perception views all Democrats as um, Antifa, and then in turn, a lot of people view Republicans as the far-right QAnoners. So, I would have made a Venn diagram. That would have also worked. I, I, I'm not good at math, okay? Graphs is in math, not drawing glass. Okay. So the undecided are centrists. We hate centrists. Because centrists just want to say they'll choose who they'll vote for at the polls, but you know they're gonna vote right, because centrists are always gonna be right leaning. Oh yeah, so Democrats are here, okay? Filthy Democrats, pro-capitalists, they do advocate for some progressive policies, but in actuality, they don't genuinely advocate for them because they are still capitalists. And then Republican. You'll hear a lot of people say, I'm fiscally Republican, but socially a Democrat. Those are the filthy centrists as well. Those are the libertarians. Those are the ones who want to push for less um, regulation and also be able to, like, fuck the children. You know, age of consent, the word we talked about earlier. So liberalism, the definition has changed. Liberalism is in the center right here. Liberals are here. Like, they're both Democratic and Republican. I don't know, I'm perpetually online, so liberalism has changed. Trump will never admit to certain ideals he has because he knows Republicans will throw him out. Exactly. That's why he doesn't talk about vaccines no more. Also, Trump is obviously pro-abortion. He's had many people get them. Honestly, I think it's a big L that the Republican Party was leaning hard into the anti-abortion shit. Because the normal American... Because it was legalized in the 70s, right? In the late 1900s, is what I'll say. But a lot of people like having the option for abortion. So when the Republicans were like, Oh, we hate killing babies, even though they're not fully developed fetuses yet, a lot of people didn't like it. That's when, like, that's when all the liberals were like, Hey, we don't like what well, you don't do abortion, so they're gonna vote Dems. Because abortion is a big enough issue that it could change people's votes. I think a big reason why people like Trump is because he, he gets the clips, he gets the owns in debates. He has good sound bites, and that's what the little silly billies who aren't educated like to hear. Wait, somebody got auto modded. What did you say? Oh. Yeah, and they love when you own the lips, exactly. It's all about optics. But that's how usually the general population votes. They're usually single issue voters or they just watch the news all day. TLDR, if you can't vote, please vote. At least vote in your local elections. Yeah, because all I do is read the headline or watch the news. 
a lot of the news doesn't give a good, accurate representation on both sides, mind you, both left-leaning and right-leaning media. They will always skew the story to match their... Um, I hate saying it like this, but to match their agenda in the sense of there are verbiage and words and facts they don't necessarily share all the time that will radicalize people more. And I don't mean that you should not trust news media. I just mean you should consume both sides. That way you can understand what both um, what both are, sides are trying to communicate and also try to hide or showcase to their audience. Uh, um, like, you know the case with the guy in Texas who drove into a crowd of BLM protesters and then he sh shot somebody who had a firearm. So the way that the Republican media is telling that story is like, hey, this guy, he had a right to try to harm those protesters because they're BLM protesters and we're in Texas and we hate protesters who advocate for what we don't like. But then, in actuality, so what they would be like, oh, this guy was a veteran. He was protecting our rights by harming these protesters. But in actuality, the person that was killed, his girlfriend was quadriplegic. She was in a wheelchair. The guy who drove into the crowd, he had preemptively said through text messages with his friends that he wanted to murk protesters. And then... So that's premeditation off the bat, when he claimed it was accidental. And the person he shot and killed, um, the person in the crowd had a firearm on him. He never pointed it at the guy, but in interrogations, the guy who drove into the crowd and killed somebody, or, and shot somebody in the crowd, he admitted that he didn't fear for, he wasn't scared that the guy was shot him, but he wanted to shoot him first because he had a gun. And that's not self-defense, bozo. And then, Greg Abbott was like, hey, I want to party this guy. We love... I love this guy. And then it was revealed in court documents that he was trying to... Like, he was a predator. So it's like, uh-oh. And then news media stopped talking about it. Oh, and then another detail. The guy that was shot and killed, he was also a veteran. But right-leaning media did not mention that. They just marketed him as a protester, not also a fellow veteran. And that's an example of both sides of the media choosing what to share so you you have to consume both sides doesn't necessarily you have to agree with both sides but you still have to acknowledge and what both sides are saying anyway no more politics this is a art channel stream everybody Imagine I mess up this page again. <laughs> I think I've only done that like one time where I flub the same word twice. We strongly dislike politics. No, -uh. I love politics. I think a big reason why people don't like talking about it on stream is because they can't handle that conversation, or they don't like pushback. And obviously, if somebody is spreading, like, really bad rhetorics, like any form of, like, anti-vax sentiment or conspiratorial stuff, then I will delete it. Because that is not a discussion. That person is feeding it to delusions. Politics are yucky and dumb. Well... I think it's easy to say that when you're young, and I mean like young people, like people in their 20s as well, but I think once you get older, like once you're out of college, once you're out of high school, once you're actually in the world, or once you're actually in the world, like you're paying your own rent, yes, you're right, Mac, it is your reality. Politics is your day-to-day -day life. So I'm not saying you should be super into it or you should talk about it all the time. But you should still be aware of what's going on in your local community, at your state level, and also the national level. 
That way you can do your best to educate yourself and then also the people you care about. Because you always want the best for everybody, right? I turned 18 and was able to vote and I was like, whoa! Yeah, I turned 18 in 2017, so I just missed the presidential election. But ever since I turned 18, I think I only missed one local election. But that's because I, I lost my ballot in my room, I think. I mean, it's also super easy to vote in Washington because we have so many fucking Dems here. Republicans rarely win. They only really win, like, representative seats. Like, for every single, like, local election I vote in, I look at every, every candidate's website, I look at their social media. There are some crazy libs and Republicans that do run in Washington, though. Like, one of them was a QAnon guy. <laughs> it's funny, like, reading their actual policies. Okay, three more and then I'm caught up. Yes, everybody, the title is real. It is not clickbait. Also, we're an hour into stream, so if you're new here, follow the channel. We already got one today. Let's go. Can we get four more and hit our goal? <gasps> Gasp. Even then, they lie. Yeah. That's why, like, I, I'm a bit hesitant to vote for independence. Because I understand the argument that voting for an independent, quote-unquote, takes away the vote from Dems, which in actuality, whatever. Not many people are going to vote for independence anyway. But a lot of the independents that run in Washington for, like, Senate or representatives, they're just libs. Which is lives or it can be like center left to center right. A go. Okay, now I'm caught up. I should not mess up any more words. Smile. Gog. Full of excitement or eager. What's your opinion on woke? Hmm. Okay. I think a lot of the woke stuff is optics. Optics is meant to dis to get you riled up and to kind of, in my opinion, distract you from the larger issues. To me, woke is is like both sides do it when. Like, you know, the blue-haired, lamped up person, like, super feminist, pops off. That's cringe, okay? And then also the Republicans, when they pop off about, like, gender issues, it's cringe. Because in actuality, uh, it's meant to distract you, it's meant to um, have you not think about larger... Or, okay, that's... I mean in the sense of more... More long-term impactful, so like, economics, global warming, abortion, right? Not saying that queer issues aren't important, but we're talking about policies that affect everybody, okay? Um, and in reality, I feel like the optics of wokeness is damaging people's freedoms and it's meant to rile up the population like i don't think politicians give a shit about pronouns and all that jazz it's the normies it's the people who will call their senators it's the people who will protest outside of planned parenthoods it's meant to get them riled up um Ultimately, it's about optics, and I don't like it. I will still be respectful for people who, how do I say it? 
Because there's like... I think in real life, like the people who go out and protest, the, the woke optics is like people protesting against gender identity and trans people. That's different. But online, there's... I think the idea of looking woke and hypersensitive. Like, you know, the people who will pop off if you accidentally misgender somebody, like, non-maliciously. Or the people who get really mad if a clothing website does not include, like, 4XL. There is a reasonable line. Hmm. Like, not every establishment can be hyper-inclusive. Not saying that your lived experience isn't real and valid, but we're not at a point where people have lived with certain verbiage changing. Um, it's it's kind of like the... how people... Like, obviously, like the R word, right? It's, n it's in the dictionary. I don't know if I'll write it or not. But the R word. That was very common vernacular in the early 2000s. Like, you know the Black Eyed Peas song, Let's Get It Started? That's the censored version. Look it up. But, I think it's good that people now can acknowledge that the word has trauma behind it. But I also think it's a bit optics and woke when people don't like when you use the word crazy or insane. Not necessarily towards a person, but just as an adjective. I personally use it all the time, and if somebody I know doesn't like that ver ver verbiage being used, then I will respect it. But those words are at a point to where it's not wholly seen as a pejorative. And I think with a lot of woke ideology, it's about optics, and it's people... It's crazy how people change the use of woke. Yes. It's kind of like... You know how the Republicans used to be like, The woke mob is getting me! When they're being cancelled for like doing crimes. It's kind of like that. Like, language changes over time. But that's how it is. I think the intentions behind people being woke is good, but it's just when you grill people without... Okay, there's a difference between, like, antagonizing somebody and calling them out, and then also calling them out and then trying to educate them. Because one, you're just making the receiving party feeling attacked, and that's what people see as the woke mob, but the other is coming from a place of understanding and acknowledging that not everybody may know that some words can be more harmful or that some people may live differently than they do. So you have to educate people and not be too combative. Okay, anyway. I, I don't like when people are too aggro on either side. Which is one of our words. Bro. Go-go. A cafe and disco in Berry, France. Anyway, was my take a good take? It's hard to, like, think of shit on the spot. I don't know how, like, streamers do it. Like, I don't know how, how Hassan does it. Like, obviously, he's a lot more well-versed than me. He has proper media training. That's why, like, guys, don't listen to fucking randos on the internet. Like, don't listen to me. 
listen to like advocates like listen to people who are actually in politics listen to your local people don't listen to some bozo like me who stays inside all day agonize the british variation of agonize Agonize. To suffer or cause to suffer agony. You'll never catch me taking Hassan seriously? Nah. It's hard to warm up to him, I'll admit. I would watch his YouTube videos. His streams are hard to watch sometimes. Because he has that ADD brain. And he's a bit more antagonistic during the stream, but the YouTube videos are really good. The YouTube, because like his editors like splice in articles that he's referring to, like actual statistics on stream or on screen. Like the YouTube news highlights are really good. Like I, I send them to my fucking libertarian right leaning friend and he enjoys them. He's like, hey, that's a pretty logical take. And I'm like, yeah. Just because you don't like his song doesn't mean you can't like the ideology. <laughs> Just seeing his tweets make me mad. <laughs> dude, he's gotta be a lib, okay? He's mad goofy. Guys, why is she talking my favorite streamer? Imagine... Crystal Lamech. Imagine somebody shit talking me, okay? That's what you're doing to me right now. I'm in agony! <laughs> His interactions with Austin? What, are they not allowed to bait? Is that not allowed? Oh shit! I deleted the wrong one. <laughs> Dude, I've had to delete three of Max's messages today. You need to calm down. To be in suffering. And that's page 15 done. Agony. Extreme pain of mind or body. Suffering. I feel like that would normally pass. I don't know, I'm scared. This is a non-affiliate channel, and I'm scared. He seems so homophobic around Austin, like I know he's not. They're trolling, it's the bit. Which I know is not a good bit. Like if you're not in the community, it is weird. It is kind of bad. But it's kind of like how you, you goofy gap with your friends, like really hate shit. That's essentially what it is. I do think that, like, goofing and gapping on Twitter is bad for optics, though. Like, remember earlier in the mainstream? Um... What was it? Yeah, when I was like, chatters, type 1 if you think I look gay. It's like, jokes like that, where if you're in the community, it's funny, but if you're outside looking in, it looks bad. It's easy to take out of context, it looks bad. I agree. I agree. I agree, Crystal. But you know, with your friends, you goof and gap a little bit. I do think that those type of jokes should be kept more like private but I think once you make it public and part of like your commentary then it's hard to stop <laughs> like I know if I was streaming with a friend and I was making jokes like that and my community at the time thought it was fine then I'd probably keep doing jokes like that 
I dropped the cap. Yes, everybody, the title is real. It is not clickbait. I'm writing the whole dictionary today. Agora. Um, money table. And I'm not, like, defending him directly. I'm just trying to look at it objectively. Like, I don't like when people queerbait. That personally kind of irks me. Especially if one is not queer, that grinds my gears. But me, I understand that people have different levels of comfort in what they're comfortable like joking and goofing and gapping with their friends. Like it is, like you talk to any fucking bro and they like show their genitalia to each other for a bit and they think it's funny. Like that's normal ass shit for them. So I think there's an element of like us online looking at, at it from an outside perspective, right? And that kind of like sentiment of, oh, that's not okay with me. Why is it okay for them? And I can understand why people feel that way. It's kind of like my off-stream banter and jokes that I make, I don't necessarily make the same jokes on stream. Because I understand that what my friends are comfortable with, not necessarily the general public or people online will be receptive to. And I don't like to think of it as like me censoring myself, it's just me being respectful of other people's personal boundaries in terms of trauma. Like, I don't see any bad words. I don't say any slurs. But I, I definitely make a bit more, like, edgy jokes. But I, I tone it down for strength. Because it's easy to respect the boundaries of one person, but when you're streaming or doing any type of content online, you are literally possibly crossing the people's boundaries, like the personal lines of thousands, if not millions of people if you have a large platform. So I think there is an element of responsibility to that. But like I said earlier, once you start making certain jokes, it's very hard to stop making them. Agoraphobia. Abnormal fear of being in a helpless, embarrassing, or inescapable situation characterized by avoidance of open or public spaces. I have an example of that, but I don't want to type it out because I might be banned. Exactly. Like, you in this instant know that making certain jokes is not appropriate for the public. And I do agree with the sentiment of, um, in order to change your morale, you do need to, like, cut back on the type of jokes you make in private. But there's a difference between, like, goofing and gaffing with your friends in a way that might not be good for everybody. But having that boundary of knowing not to publicize them. Because once you make something public, then it's kind of like you're normalizing that type of rhetoric. And you're just showing that you are prejudiced in private. I was talking about making jokes that are hard to stop making. Yeah, I think, Crystal, you've definitely toned down a bit after I call you out on shit. <laughs> like, you remember the coffee talk stream? Oh, you were wilding out. Yeah, I agree with the sentiment of, like, it's very, I think with a lot of, like, American banter, 
it's just people being mean. Like, like just straight up insulting people. And I think that's bad. I make all the jokes. Yeah, Mac told me very bad jokes in private. I would never leak them. Because Mac would get cancelled. AGR, abbreviation for agriculture. Yeah, in private, Max said they hated me. I'll leak that. <laughs> Agrarian. Of or relating to land or its ownership. Quiches, they were so good. But I shouldn't eat more. or correspond. Agreeable. Pleasant. Ready to consent. Being in harmony. Are we all in agreement that Peace and Art is the best alt channel? Anybody see what's wrong? I put two G's. He's like two L. Well, at least that's only half a page. That's fine. But he's like two seven. <laughs> God damn. I am I tired? I usually don't do this in the afternoon anymore, right? Ay, Dios mío. But I do feel like the calligraphy art streams are more fitting for the evening anyway. I'm sleepy. Um, fall asleep with the stream open, easy. You know, you can fall asleep to the soothing sound of my voice. I fall asleep to a stream every night because he's west coast. Not many streamers I like stream in the evening. I mean, there's a few, but I usually, I don't like falling asleep with a stream on. Because I hate like having my TV on for too long because I usually fall asleep watching a YouTube video. That way my phone turns off after 10 minutes of like idleness. If I were to get a tattoo, would you design your own? Probably. 
I think the only... Because to me, tattoos look kind of weird if it's just one thing, you know? Also, before anything asks, I got a scratch the other day. I, okay. So, trigger warning. I've never done anything to myself, okay? But I was moving a shelf upstairs, and I got cuts here and here. And it was a few days before my birthday. And it was weird seeing scratches on my arm. Because, like, I've seen people's scars, and it's really sad. So, you guys might have noticed that I've been wearing, like, longer sleeved shirts for the past few weeks, and that's why. Because <laughs> I didn't want people to see it and, like, not make assumptions, but, like, it triggered or something. Anyway. And I remember I had a doctor's appointment, like, a week after, and I wore long sleeves, and they didn't question me. And I thought that was weird. Because I, I had to, like, get my blood pressure taken, so I should have worn a long sleeve, but I wore a... I should have worn a short sleeve, but I wore a long sleeve. And they didn't ask anything. So it's kind of... I don't know, weird to me. Anyway, trigger warning over. Yeah, I have, like, scars on my arm, too. You can kind of see this one. This one's from the oven. I have this. You can kind of see this little shadow? That, that's just how, like, my fat sits on just that arm for some reason. Yeah, I have a bunch of bruises on my legs. Like, I don't know if my skin is getting thin or not, but I've been getting, like, a lot more bruises on my legs. Like, I lightly tap something, and then I- Ooh, I got a big old bruise! It's not cancer, guys. I got blood tests done. Don't worry. Um. But my mom and my grandma do both have really thin skin, so that could be it. You know how they have those skincare creams that are lightening? Do you think it's fine to use those for scars? Because, like, I have the opinion that, like, body markings and scars make you you. Thank you for the follow! Thank you! Can we get some yo's? I appreciate it. Um, guys, plus two! Um, I think scars are beautiful. One of my old co-workers, um, this was when she got hired on during pandemic, so I had never seen her face. Even during the interview, because this was, we hired her on right when, like, mask mandates were about to be enacted. So even to the interview, she wore a mask. So I had never seen her lower face. But she had a scar that ran from, like, her... Right below her eye to her mouth. Like, it looked like she had a huge, like, slash. See, she said she, like... <laughs> she fell down the stairs when she was a baby. <laughs> so she has, like, a huge, like, slash, like, mark on her cheek. And she said she considered, like, getting procedures done. But she definitely said that, like, wearing a mask made her feel a bit better about it. And I saw it one day. Because she got a drink, and I was like, whoa, it's so cool! <laughs> That's like, like that type of scar is something you'd see on like an anime protagonist, you know? Yes, guys, the title is real, it is not clickbait. I would never lie. The dictionary is right here. But I can understand if like a body marking or a scar like drastically affects your self-perception. Or, like, your confidence, and if you want to get a procedure done, go for it. You know, you have the right to do so. But don't feel like you need to. Like, I was one of the kids in junior high, like, I didn't give a fuck about my acne. Like, I was never insecure about it. It's because I never wore makeup, too. So I would go to school with so many goddamn pimples, no pimple patches, no nothing. I didn't give a fuck. Because it's not like pimples are a unique thing. Everyone goes through it. 
There's no real point in trying to hide it. Okay, I didn't do a second G speed running. In actuality, people don't care as much as you think they do. I'm probably just gonna get a tat over my scar. Ooh, a band-aid tattoo would be kind of cool. You know, that's artsy. I still think you should get one of the tattoos. Like, you know how they have, like, the butterflies? So it looks like the wings are closed when the leg is open. When you extend, you can see the inner wings. That would be sick. But if your scars are on the front of your knees... I don't know. Okay, back to the run. Agreeable. Agreement. Harmony. Of opinion or action. I have the marks around it because of the band-aid? Oh. Huh. You should get a band-aid tattoo then. Yeah, I get what you're saying, Mac. Like, I have kind of darker patches on my skin, too, in some parts. Like, I have- I have stretch marks. Like, all of my stomach, and then my, like, shoulders, too. You don't usually see it on cam. But I have, like, slightly, like, reddish, darker tan stretch marks on my arms. But that's because I'm at my heaviest. <laughs> um, I'm at my heaviest. But- when I went from my- to my lightest, because I lost, like, 50 pounds in the span of, like, four months. But that's because I was, like, working a lot. So I had a bunch of stretch marks on my, like, my abdomen and my arms. But I don't mind them. I think they're kind of cool, because they look kind of shiny. It's almost like your- your skin is, like, metallic. It's kind of cool. I fell asleep. Welcome back, Crystal. Yeah, guys, I've been live for 13 hours. It's tomorrow. But I think when it comes to, like, body positivity, it comes down to the media you consume and then also the people who are- who you're surrounded by. Like, my first partner, he was very kind. He- he was with me when I was basically at my heaviest. And he- liked me for how I was and that gave me a lot of confidence and that does not mean you should seek all your um, confidence from others but hearing positive validation is good I got lucky I didn't have an absolute dickhead for first BF business. An industry engaged in the manufacture and sale of farm equipment and supplies and in the production, processing, storage, and sale of farm commodities. I thought the PlayStation stream deck was fake. Oh. Is that real? I, I don't give a fuck. I don't have a PlayStation. Isn't the stream deck the streaming thing? Because the Steam Deck is the little gamepad. Agric, abbreviation for agriculture. Let's 
it's the hour 137. We'll see how much more I can get done in 20 minutes. I can go a little bit longer than two hours today. Just for the fans. Agriculture. Farming or husbandry? What? <laughs> what is husbandry? Huh? Do you like shorts? Like wearing shorts? Yeah, I love shorts. If uh, how do I say this? If uh, I like wearing short shorts, I don't wear them in public. You know, I like I like seeing leg. On others and myself. I'm not biased. The only thing I don't like about shorts is that, you know, if you're a thick girly, your thighs rub. It's kind of uncomfy. So, like, I wear, like, Spanx underneath shorts. That way my thighs don't rub. A branch of agriculture that deals with the raising crops and care of the soil. bottom of or shore yeah my sister since she, for her work she's walking a lot she's moving a lot she wears like the the spanks underneath her pants because she she's not as thick as me but well no she's skinny but her legs are a bit wider it helps her a lot and then she bought some for me and i was like oh my god it's a game changer they're expensive though they're like ten dollars each but they've lasted us like a year and they're, they aren't like stretched out at all. They're really nice. I'm not gonna see the brand, I'm not sponsored. AGT, abbreviation for agent. Yeah, my sister, she wears uh, men's jeans. Because they're usually a bit looser, and also, like, the pockets are huge. She hasn't worn, like, women's jeans in forever. The only thing I don't like about men's jeans is that they don't look artsy. You know, I like pants that are artsy. Like, you know that one pant that has, like, the white on the upper thigh and then the lower leg? Those, I think, are the coolest pants I own. A fever, as in malaria, with recurrent chills and sweating. I think a lot of men's clothing has have really interesting cuts and shapes as well. Like a few of my shirts are men's. 
I do wish there was more like unisex clothing. I do want to go thrifting again. There's a lot of thrift shops in my town. There's also like a few consignment shops that I haven't seen yet. You know, when I get the big bucks, I'm gonna do a thrift shop haul. Talking about big bucks, everybody, exclamation shop in chat. I make original artwork, I do paintings. And if you use code TWITCH10, you get $10 off your purchase today. Yeah, look, it's in the chat. Peace and art by Shopify.com. New draw will be in mid-June. Ahead. In or toward the front? Okay, this green is kind of busted. The tip isn't sharp anymore. Ahead of, in front or advance of, in excess of, above. to the stream. Welcome aboard, you scallywags. Ooh, me and the homies hate this one. Abbreviation for Artificial Intelligence. Me and the homies hate AI. Aid. To provide with what is useful in achieving an end. Yes, everybody, the title is real. It is not clickbait. Oh, you, I was like, I was trying to figure out what you meant, Matt, because you're like, reminds me of the cookie. But it's Chips Ahoy. Hashtag not sponsored. <laughs> also, chatters who are regulars, how does the stream look? This is a 60 FPS stream. I usually do 30. I feel like the movement should look slightly more crisp. Like, in real time, I mean. Fine, I guess. Shut up. <laughs> nah, I... If you watch a lot of, like... I can't change the quality? Yeah, I don't know how to fix that. Remember we were talking earlier how some people can't watch higher quality streams? I don't know how to change it on this channel. I fucked it up. But it's fine. I'll, I'll look into it. But it should be in 60 FPS. Because it's like the difference in terms of watching stream or like YouTube videos. Like comparing 30 to 60 FPS. You have to like see the footage right next to each other to be able to like actually notice it. I'm trapped in 1080. You're eating my data. Aren't you at home? Use the Wi-Fi. Jeez. 
or just do <laughs> just do audio only <laughs> that we don't see the beautiful calligraphy you know um aid abbreviation for agency of international development aid a person who acts as an assistant especially a military officer assisting a superior you are then why are you complaining about data you're you're literally you are literally gaslighting me oh my god i got into like a little like spat with my friend the other day and it wasn't me we were just talking about like real life shit and like us having to face shit in our lives and then my friend didn't reply for a few hours and they were like you're at you they were like yeah i agree with what you said but you're gaslighting me <laughs> and they were like we shouldn't have talked about this and I'm like, what the fuck? So I'm like rereading all my responses. I'm like, what did I say? I'm like, okay, well that's- I said that, so I guess that could be kind of like catty. Or like kind of like combative. And then I let it sit for 10 minutes. Cause I was gonna pop off. I was gonna be like, well you have said this, 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 and this to me. And hurt my feelings. But that would've been- that would've been actually been gaslighting. <laughs> um, uh, so then I waited 10 minutes and I was like, hey, you know, I said this in a previous message. I agree, it could be seen as heart hurtful. I didn't mean to hurt you, I'm sorry. And then they texted back instantly. They were like, oh, I was trolling. I just forgot to put a, a crying tear emoji. That way you knew I was joking about you gaslighting me. And I was like, bro, what the fuck? Jackass. <laughs> like, come on. Because, like, for that 10 minutes, I was, like, spiraling. I was like, oh my god. I was like, oh no. I was like, because, okay, the thing with me, I'm very particular with what I say. Like, I put a lot of time, if it's something important, on, like, how to say something in a way that doesn't hurt people's feelings, right? Like, I'm very manipulative in that sense. Like, I'm not going to say shit that will grind your gears, but I know how to. You know, I know how to be a, a bitch. But I don't. So when they said, oh, you're gaslighting... I was like, oh no! I was like, did some of the manipulation seep through? Did the floodgates open? But they were just trolling. And I was like, god damn it. Jackass! And mind you, this was like a conversation I was having at like 11 p.m. last night, so I was already like out of it. But that's why like I hate texting. Like I'm very much like I'd rather call somebody. For like a longer conversation, I mean, not for like a short ass shit. Like I'm not gonna call you, talk for you to, to talk to you for 30 seconds. That's dumb. Aid de camp, which is just another variation of camp, or aid. Okay, chatters, don't don't you giggle at this next word. If you giggle at the next word, you're a bad person. disease of the human immune system that is characterized by a several or severe reduction in the numbers of helper T cells and increased vulnerabilities to life-threatening illnesses and that is caused by infection with HIV commonly transmitted in inflected blood especially through illicit illicit intra, in, in, intravenous drug use and in bodily secretions such as splooge during intercourse AIDS guys wear protection Get tested regularly. <laughs> Good, nobody giggled. Good job, chat.
Well, that's a bit of a late reaction, Mac. <laughs> oh, wait, this word is not gonna fit. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, this one ain't fit. This one's AIDS related complex, which is a group of symptoms such as fever, weight loss, and lymphadenopathy that is associated with the presence of antibodies to HIV and is followed by the development of AIDS in a certain proportion of cases. I was fighting my dog. Why are you being so mean? Why I gotta be so rude? Don't you know I'm a human too? Okay, I'm gonna do one more page because I don't want the final word to be AIDS. I'll be honest. I don't think putting AIDS in the title is a good look. Oh my god, hi Kim, welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Calling PETA? Wait, what? Oh, I thought you meant on me. Yeah, call PETA on Mac, not me. I don't have any pets, remember? I want a cat, but I'm not allowed to. Sad. AIDS virus. HIV. Okay, I'll do one more page for the fans. Okay, chatters. I just had the sudden urge to get Wendy's. After stream, should I get a Frosty? Cause, okay, I usually go for m walks in the morning or evening. So whenever I go for walks in the morning, my local Wendy's, their lobby doesn't open till 10. So it's like, how are people supposed to get breakfast? Right? Or I go in the evening and I'm like, I already had dinner. Hmm. I'm debating. I have enough cash. But if I go, I have to only get a frosty. Like, I cannot get anything else. We have enough girls. We have. We already have enough meal prep. I don't need to buy a bug. Wendy's is getting expensive though. For like their baseline burger, kind of too much. I'd only get a burger from Wendy's if I have a coupon. Is that even a question? Should I do a poll? Wait, I can't even do polls. I'm not an affiliate. Oh no. Let's see. I have to go and not tell my roommates that I'm going. Because if I go, then they're gonna want something. And they already have stuff to eat. So I have to be sneaky. You should see if the app has something for free too. I think that Kim is actually a corporate shill. And her new job is to show people fast food apps. Because that's literally all she talks about now. But reveal yourself, be honest. Is that your new job? <laughs> no, but I do agree. Like, usually rewards are kind of worth it. But then I get kind of sad thinking about, oh, they're stealing my information. Oh, are you and Kim now best friends? Cute. Yes. <laughs> what do you mean, Mac, by I was playing around with behind the scenes stuff and I can't do anything? Are you talking to me? Explain. Cigarettes. To be the matter with trouble or to be unwell. Mac has seen- What is- Okay, I need to add feet as a block term here, I guess, as well. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, like polls? Um, there's some third party like overlays you can use for polls. Like you know how people like, oh, type one or two or three, and then like a poll like graphic pops up? That's a third party overlay. So you just have to Google and search it. I personally don't use it. I just use the Twitch integrated one because that's what most viewers are used to. But if you're a non-affiliate, like my channel here, you probably should download that overlay if you do want to use polls as a normal stream function. Like, Ludwig uses it. Most every big streamer has that overlay enabled. I don't know what it's called, though. You probably just Google, um, stream poll overlay and it'll pop up somewhere. Like, in a Reddit thread, you'll probably find it. Oh, wait, sorry. Aigret is actually a plume or decorative tuft for the head. I was reading the next definition. That was my fault. Um, delete your flashcards. That previous word was wrong. Ayo. To be the matter with or trouble to be unwell. <laughs> I'm never making that mistake. What mistake? Okay, I've only accidentally shown my feet on stream once. And if any of you little coomers want to search through my VOD channel and find it, go for it. I need the views on my VOD channel. Wait, do I even have the command here? I think I might. That would be wild. I don't. Do you have a new favorite word now? Mm. I do still think holy is funny. I think no is another funny one. <laughs> Uh, yes, everybody, the title is real. It is not clickbait. Also, we're an hour or two hours in the stream, so if you're new here, um, follow. We've already gotten two followers today. Holy moly. Holy shit. So if you want to help hit our follower goal today, click the follow button. You get to hang out in chat. Smile. Also, Mac, when you're making... Okay, let me let me show you. When you're making your Twitch about page, okay, I'm enabling do not disturb. Where is it? You know what I noticed? So you know how when you look at Twitch, this is my main channel, right? So this banner right here, it has your top social links. So what I noticed, because I can see who follows the Peace and Art channel, and then who follows the main channel. I can view that on different devices. So the people, the two people who followed the Art channel today during stream also followed my main channel offline. You can see how I'm at 717 followers? I can see who followed. I'm not gonna call out the names, because that's not cool. But since I have my Art channel as my first social media link, that's the first thing they see. And also, I changed this over the weekend, so it has my art channel, second link TTS, third link shop, fourth link Twitter. Because most people know what regular social media platforms are, and they'll usually find it in your about section, but if you have your more obscure links at the beginning, and keep the titles short, that way more icons fit on mobile devices, you're probably gonna get more crossover. Because before, I used to have my Twitter, IG, TikTok, and then my art channel here at the end. But sometimes, it would get cut off so people wouldn't see the art channel link. But since I have moved it to the front, I have already gotten two followers on this channel because they followed my main channel and saw my about page. Pro tips with big! Oh, well, um... <laughs> Pro tips with peace and I almost said my name. Guys, I almost leaked. That's so sweet. Mac is gonna be my little pupil. Not in a weird way. Not in like the TA trying to smash the student. No, no. <laughs> Never. But it's like little shit like that. <laughs> See, Kim's gonna get a good goal out of that joke.
character name is Amber? No, it's not. And I feel like that's a debate. Like, you know, like... Like when people say up dog, and they're like, what's up dog? Haha, <laughs> you said up dog. I... Amber alert? Is that what? What are these new little zoomer jokes you guys have? Wait, Kim's my age. Wait, Kim's, when, when is your birthday? Was it, isn't it your birthday soon? I think you said it was in May, right? Yeah, Kim is my age. I'm 50. No, you're not. You're my age. Stop it. And I'm 45. Can't you see? My hands are so old. I need to paint my nails, though. I've had this polish on for... Since my... A month? No way. I've had this polish on since my birthday. Dude, a month? And it stayed on that long? I don't... I've decided to not, like, chip off my polish anymore. I want it to, like, naturally fall off. Because when I, like, scratch it off like this, then I get, like, marks and grooves in my nails. <laughs> Saw what she actually looks like? Wait, was she catfishing me in DMs? Oh, no. I learned this. Wait, 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 I need to text my friend my stream. <laughs> wait, I forgot. Because they were telling me that one of their co-workers, like, likes art. And they were- and they're also a Twitch viewer. So my friend was like, hey, text me your stream so I can text it to my co-worker. They told me to send this like a week ago. <laughs> and I was like, holy, a new viewer? Okay, I sent the text. And they said it was a grill. And we love grills. Um, Elanthus. Any of a genus of Asian trees are shrubs with pinnate leaves and ill-scented greenish flowers. The tree of heaven. Why does the tree of heaven stain? Okay, I gotta hurry up so I can get my Wendy's Strawberry Frosty before it gets dark. <laughs> Aileron. A movable part of an airplane wing used in banking. <laughs> what? In banking? bodily disorder. Yeah, I will do my best to avoid public restrooms at all costs. Because the sad thing, like, if you work in service, I bet you know, like, you take so long to clean the bathroom, and all it takes is one person 
one person to mess it up. And it sucks, but you know, it be like that. Thankfully, I've never had to clean shit off of where it's not supposed to be. I think the worst is like, there was one time there was like blood in our sink. And then also like piss like all over the floor. But thankfully, no shit. Oh, I've never had to dispose needles, thankfully. Because from my previous workplace, like down the street, there was a needle dispensary station. We got lucky. Okay, I need to speed run. I want to get that frosty. Aim. To point a weapon at an object. <gasps> Twitch Mobile is whack today. Twitch Mobile is always whack, dude. Kim, you need to watch on desktop one day, and it will change your life. Kim, have you never watched on desktop? I think you said you watch on mobile and then TV. Because when you watch on desktop, um, you can see more emotes. You get emotes. I did once. Look, if you're on, on mobile, you can't see this. Look, it's on screen. I like walking around. What I do is I connect my Bluetooth headphones to my laptop or my TV. And then it's fine. Mine at a tequila bottle? <laughs> oh no. Why are you drinking on the job? That's illegal. Okay, chatters, don't get mad at me. This is what the dictionary says. This is what it says. This is the abbreviation for the American Indian Movement. The dictionary said it, not me. My stream setup is a little bit nicer now. I mean, it's just like a, a desk and then a tiny desk. I do have a bit of clutter around my room, but my stream space isn't too cluttered. Um, at a million subscribers, I will do a stream setup tour. Guys, ain't ain't a word. Would I ever get a nose piercing? No. I like... I scratch my face a lot, and I know if I had a nose piercing... Nose reveal. I would just... I would do this all day. I, I would be touching it. I'm a fidgeter. So, I don't think a piercing would be a good idea for me. I'm also, like, very scared of, like, getting in infected. I'm not a hypochondriac, but I... Could be... If my anxiety gets worse. And it's also like low-key, I don't trust myself to like clean piercings properly. Like, I'm hygienic, but if I don't have like the mental energy to do all the hygiene stuff, I don't do it. Like, I make sure I wear deodorant, I, sh I wash up every day, but like sometimes I forget to brush my teeth. Oopsie! And with something like a piercing, I feel like that could go bad if I don't clean it good. You just gotta shower and wash your face. You just said Kim has piercing cleaner. I didn't know that was a thing. <laughs> Do you have to like put the disinfectant like like this? Like shove it up your nose? <laughs> Guys, nose reveal.
Ainu, a member of an indigenous people of northern Japan. Oh, that disinfectant is only for new piercings? Oh! I'm clueless. I would probably still mess it up somehow, though. Okay, final word, everybody. Or not final word, final page. Wait. What if I tell the roommates? No, I ask them. I'm like, hey guys, you want to get Frosties? And then my sister pays for it. <gasps> Dude, big brain. Yes, guys, the title is real. It is not clickbait. I'm writing the whole dictionary today in one stream. <laughs> no, because, like, I don't have any money until my next Twitch payout. I mean, I have, like... I have $50, but $32 is for the website fees. My phone bill. And then I did gift chat a sub. So I have like five dollars. I do wish Twitch payouts could process every two weeks. It'd be so much easier to budget, man. I don't know why they do every month. I think the only reason why they can do it is because you're like an independent worker. Like a contract worker, essentially. Airbag! A bag designed to be- to inflate automatically to protect automobile occupants in case of a collision. Oh, the- this whole- oh, dude. From here to here is words that have air in it. Oh, no. Airboat. A shuttle draft boat driven by an airplane propeller. Done or being in the air. Guys, final three words. Get ready to spam. I was here. No, I said get ready. It's it's not over yet. I said three more words. Take it back. Airbrush. A device for applying a fine spray as a paint by compressed air. I would like to try airbrushing. I think that'd be a good way to elevate my paintings. I get some nice gradients. The okay, final word of the day, not the whole run. The, the stream ends when, when I write the whole dictionary. <laughs> Imagine I mess up this word. Air conditioner. An apparatus for filtering air and controlling its humidity and temperature. Very nice. Everybody, that is our final word of the day. Let's go. So today, We did aged, 
Oh no, we did ageism. All the way to air conditioner. So a full page and a fifth. Not bad. Okay, let's look through my work for the day. Okay, don't show feet. Oops! <laughs> Why is it so... Oh no. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah, I gotta stand up for this. My tripod wasn't close enough. Oh wait, no, I have to move it this way. Guys, no free feet. Nice try. Hi, cool Bobo. Welcome in. Can I get some yo's? Came in right at the end, huh? There we go. And we got two followers on this channel and the main channel. They can follow both channels in one sitting, which is cool. You can follow. Okay, let's flip through. Okay, so this is our words for the day. Agoraphobia. I definitely have that. Yes! If I say this, I get demonetized. There we go. Ageism to air conditioner. Nice spread of words today. Did I miss meeting them? Oh, they didn't chat. But that's A-OK. -okay. okay, everybody. Holy. I'm gonna see if I can get a frosty now. <laughs> I would like to thank everybody for watching. Any chatters, lookers, guys, we got two new followers today. Thank you both for following. This was a bonus sub-goal stream since we hit our sub-goal in the main channel. So once again, thank you to Jacob and Titans for helping us reach the goal today. Um, I should be live on the main channel tomorrow, depending if I'm sad or not. So, everybody, if you are new here for some reason and you don't know my main channel, at peace and underscore 17, go follow the main channel. We do gaming and shit. Go follow. Yes, yeah, so the VOD will be published on this channel. Don't worry about it, Kobobo. Um, yeah, so I'll see you guys when I see you on this channel. Maybe later next week, depending. We'll see. Okay. I had fun. Got some, got a good amount of words in today. Surely. Surely I'll finish this run by the end of the year. Okay, bye guys. You get to see me get clapped three times. You didn't get timed out, you just got your words deleted because they were bad words. <laughs> do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. Dude, imagine I go to Wendy's and they're out of Frosties. I would cry. Wait, make sure you guys have notifications turned on. I for I, I've been forgetting to do that spiel. I just say, hey, go follow. I forget to tell people about notifs. Frick. Make sure if you're following, you have notifications turned on. That way you don't miss the stream, because the streams here are going to be a bit more sporadic. Okay, I'll see you guys when I see you. Follow my TikTok. I will be posting a new speed painting next week, so go follow. It's at peace and underscore art on TikTok. And if you want to check out my artwork, you can visit my website. It's peaceandart.myshopify.com. Okay, bye-bye.